What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Celio's Network. So today I am doing a tournament report with my friend Patrick Van Story. He recently got second at a League Cup uh, this past weekend with the deck on the screen. So it's Zorark, Lycanroc, Lucario. Uh, Pat, go ahead and introduce yourself. Hey, what's up, guys? Um, I'm Pat. I have been playing since Plasma Blast, and I'm not very good still, so... And uh, you might know Pat, he got top 8 at Hartford Regionals this past year um, with ho -Oh. He's the ho -Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so Pat, tell us, uh, tell us why you picked this deck, first of all, for your League Cup. Um, I was going to play Zorak Gardevoir. I had it all sleeved up and stuff ready to yep. go. <clears throat> Best deck in four, man. And... <laughs> I like it. I think it's good. Um, my this list is uh, pretty much Chris the Porker's creation. Um, every time I've he's handed me a deck and been like, "Hey, play this," mm -hmm. I do well. So I decided to listen to him for a change, and it ended up going well. Yeah, it's good logic. <laughs> um, so first thoughts on the deck, like looking at it, maybe your first round playing it. Uh, what does it feel like? Does it just feel like Zorak like in Rock? Yeah, it does. Um, missing your turn one energy still hurts, but I feel like playing the one one Lucario kind of gives you an answer to that. Mm -hmm. um, Bridgeting is actually fairly annoying with this deck because you generally only get two Zora and then a Rockruff. Um, but Lucario just sitting on the bench or Riolu sitting on the bench from an early point in the game is just such a scary threat because you can start establishing your board around having that one card on the bench. Right, right. Yeah, I have um, I have a list similar to this built. Like I was telling you before we started recording the video, I have um, a list like this built in real life, but I have a heavier Lucario and a lighter Lycanroc line, mm -hmm. and the turn one Bridget's have been a real headache for me, because <laughs> if I if I start with, um, I don't know. Let's say you start Lele. So you Lele for Bridget, or you have Raw Bridget in hand, you definitely want to go for those two Zeruas, like you said. But yeah. after that, you kind of want a Rockruff and a Riolu on your bench, but you have to pick, so it can get tricky there. Yeah. Um, two Zoro is generally the play, unless I know I, unless I start a Zoro and I know they can't kill it, of course. That's mm -hmm. just logic. Yeah. But it's generally a Rockruff, just so I can... Um, you... you Access to Riolu is very easy, you know, just an ultra ball away. Mm -hmm. And it just sits there and attacks for one energy, so you're not too, too stressed about it. Yeah, and like you said, the Riolu, even without, Riolu without an energy is a threat. Because it can yeah. turn into a Lucario with one energy in just a turn. And it's hitting for a reasonable amount of damage. Yeah. Um, so, a couple cards I wanted to ask about. Um, so, you're playing four <coughs> basic fighting energy. No, in, no strong energy. So, uh, yeah. touch on that real quick. Um, I actually questioned that as well when I was talking to Porco, mm -hmm. and all he had to say was, I'm tired of getting hammered turn one. Okay. And I was like, okay, I'll go with that logic. Sounds good. And I shuffled up, and I only missed it once the whole day. Okay, missed, cool. uh, strong once all day, sorry. Yeah, I missed having it around. Um, yeah, it definitely <laughs> makes sense. Kind of like a lot of us changed from three strong, two basic, to uh, two strong, three basic. For yeah. Zoro Rock lists in Charlotte, I believe that's when that trend started. Maybe St. Okay. Louis. Um, but now some lists are changing to too strong, too fighting. Um, and if you're in a meta with a lot of Zorok variants that are uh, traditionally playing Hammer, um, I think I agree with you know going safe on the basic fighting. So your energies will be sticking unless the Pokemon gets knocked out. Yeah. Um, so one Evo Soda. Um, I've been trying to fit two Evo Sodas into my Lucario builds, but since this isn't um, a thick line of Lucario, was he, one Evo Soda cool for you? One Evo was fine. Um, there were three cards that I wanted to include in the deck that I didn't um, do. Uh, I wanted to put Giratina in for Greninjas because I got kind of destroyed on Saturday on the previous the previous day. There was a cup the previous day okay. by Greninjas. And my local area is kind of notorious for having a couple Greninjas floating around anyways. But I wanted... Um, I wanted a second Evo Soda. I wanted another Acerola. Mm -hmm. And then I missed Parallel City a lot. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. So, which of those would be the first one you included? 
Um, honestly, parallel. Parallel. Oh, um, good. you already don't have a very great beat Kabulu matchup. Um, mm -hmm. you have to, you have to open extremely well to just go blow for blow with them and like come out on the trade board. Mm -hmm. Um, they tend to brick more, of course, because it is Bulu. Mm -hmm. But you can't really rely on that, of course, especially if you're going into a best of three situation. Yep. So parallel city would have helped out a lot early. Yeah, I w um, like I was telling you before, but I'll say it again for the video. Uh, yeah, I would definitely for my area, I would put in two parallels. I don't know how prevalent Vika Bulu is for your area, but in general, I would try to fit in at least one. There's generally one or two. Um, I don't think there's been a tournament where there's not been a Vika. So okay. Um, e Evo Soto would definitely be like the fluff card. Like, I could. That's that's our last card I'd add in. So it'd definitely be the Ace roll I want. Because cool. there are so many situations where I just want to get stuff out of there. Um, okay. Reuse a Lycan Rock. I, I can set up plays, you know, of course. You can ace roll a Lycan Rock after I take a hit. Mm -hmm. But um, there are just so many plays where if I had access to a second ace roll or the one ace roll wasn't prized and the second was there, um, where games would have just been way easier. Right, right. So... Let's talk about the Tina promo. So, with the Tina promo, do you think that the Greninja matchup is sealed up? Uh, absolutely. Like, you you drop the Tina promo, and they're only going to do 40 every... If they ever, you know, break Shadow Stitching, they lose. Mm -hmm. um, there are still some decks around, even with the Tina. You can't... You don't automatically win. So, I just yeah. wanted to ask that. Um, in my opinion, in most cases, you do. Um, unless they have a way out. Like, an out to it, somehow. Yeah. Which generally they don't. Yeah, I don't um, think there's any way. Because you're just gonna, especially if a hammer comes down on a splash energy Greninja or whatever, and they mm -hmm. can't get the resources back. Um, I feel like you end up just winning like way, way easier. Right. Right. Okay. Cool. So those are all the questions I had about the list. Anything that I didn't touch on that you think is a little uh, quirky or that you might be taking out or inclusions that you're making right away? Um. No, not really. I I think I, if I played this at a regional, I'd include Giratina still. Okay. Cool. Um, that's really about it. It's pretty standard. I don't really like Zorag like in Rock, personally. Okay. But it did the job. Cool, cool. And uh, just wanted to reiterate real, real quick. So you placed second at a yes. standard cup. Um, and about how many people? What were how many rounds? And what was the top cut? Uh, it was five rounds cut the top eight only top four got points so it was under 24 people i don't know the exact number okay um top eight was definitely scoop fest um i talked with my buddy alan who i was supposed to play in top eight i beat him in swiss and i was like yeah i just want to guarantee the points so mm -hmm. you know <laughs> yeah and he was like yeah that's fine because i'm not uh going for points this season mm -hmm. and then i played against uh goalie guard or goalie zorak i'm sorry in my top four. And... All right, let's uh, let's just go back to the beginning, real oh, quick. Okay. Yeah, I just okay. wanted to uh, like give a quick preview, like uh, the amount of people, the amount of rounds, the top eight. Oh, my bad, my bad. No, it's all good, man. Um, so round one, let's just start there. My round one was uh, a Vika Bulu player. Mm -hmm. Again, I, I missed uh, Parallel City, who turned to double v could me right right and the game was still very drawn out he was a new player granted okay but the game was still very drawn out and he uh when it got down to it he hadn't played a single guzma yet so there, oh, it wow. was like a, a nine game anyways we we're both at two prizes okay um so i lost that yeah i think you had mentioned to me that you got yeah. double v could <laughs> round one i think i think i messed to jelly like, right i was like double yeah Vika. <laughs> yeah I nothing can. you can do about that yeah. Uh, my round two was I got paired against my buddy Jimmy uh, mm -hmm. DiMaggio. He's a senior, and he was playing Greninja, so I was like, all right, I got the Tina promo. Mm -hmm. um, I'm pretty sure this is what happened. Uh, Russ walked over and was like, I hope you prize Tina. <laughs> and I, I, I prized double puzzle Tina. And I oh, my promo. God. Um, but he, he's already had his invite in seniors, so he just give me the one anyways nice nice okay um round three was 
I gotta think about this. All good. <laughs> oh, it was the guy I played. Was, uh, was supposed to play in top eight, Alan. Okay. Um, he was playing Guardians or Rook, and that matchup's very easy for Lick and Rock. Yeah, you can just go really aggressive. <laughs> yeah. Um. Won that one pretty handily, just based on the matchup. Uh, yeah. Round four. Man. If the, if you blank on any of the Swiss rounds, it's okay. You can just skip one. Just let me know I, if you I, won I, or I lost forget, or tied. <laughs> I forget. I forget what round four was. Um, okay. All good. Did you I win though? Went, yeah, I went. I went four one. Okay. So my last round was um. So my my issue with cups the last couple weeks and why I've been like like mad about it mm -hmm. is I don't fully understand how Tom pairs people. Okay. And completely <clears throat> random. <laughs> yeah, it seems to be because every week for the last three cups my winning in has been down paired. Okay, yeah, you I'm, mentioned I'm the, that to me. I'm at the point where I can literally just, you know, one tie. I'm I'm 3-0 and one tie away from just, you know. Or I'm either 3-0 going in around 4 or 3-1 going in around 5 and I can just tie in. Okay. And I get down paired. The last three cups I've played. Yeah. Um. So finally, I hit a a more fair matchup in my my win and in down pair round in round five, and I played against Espion Garb. Okay. And um. He didn't wasn't able to bridge it turn one, mm -hmm. and I was so that matchup went pretty in my favor. Okay. Um. Just being able to control the trebuches, there wasn't much you could do. Yeah. So how do you feel in that matchup? With only two field blower, like so, basically you just want to kill the trebuches. Yeah, um, I try to control the trebuches. Um, if I can't and it spirals, I just I try to maximize the use of my field blowers instead of discarding them because I'm only playing one sycamore anyways. Right, right. So I, um, I'll just hold them. If I can last a turn and like not die that or not have a Pokemon get knocked out that turn, okay. I just try to hold and maximize the the use of it. But makes sense. Um, the, the matchup isn't too too bad. Um, yeah, don't venture early in the match unless you're killing something with it. Yeah, I was gonna say definitely a merit to playing the <laughs> um, more Lycanroc focused list than the more Lucario focused list. Yeah, definitely. Because then you're not forced to use Lucario as your secondary attack, or you can just use your Lycanrocs, and they're really yeah. good. And I can I can try to mew. The mew's gonna get traded. 99% of the time, mm -hmm. but I, I can mew the Espeon instead of wasting my uh, my Danger Throw. Right. I just hold the Danger Throw for later. Right. Okay, so you took the win there against Espeon Garb, mm -hmm. and you're going 4-1, then... finally top-cutting a League Cup after yes. <laughs> all the down pairs. <laughs> yes. Um, one more note on that, I just don't feel that you should go be able to go, or I don't feel that you go 3 out a Cup and are forced to win out especially when a cup's like 24 people like you shouldn't be forced to like have to win out in a situation where you played really well in your early rounds mm -hmm. yeah i understand so um, yeah the down pairs definitely suck sometimes and yeah, yeah depending on how many numbers there are if uh three one ones will miss or not that also gets iffy yeah um every cup we've had it's been a clean cut okay um, because of the small amount of people right but um actually at the the cup that i got second place at a couple three twos actually made it it was so small okay so i guess it was about 20 flat but um going into top eight i was supposed to play the same guy i played round three uh playing guardy's or mm -hmm. and like i said he he scooped to me for the second of the points nice. like guaranteed points okay um top it's four still was a match up you're pretty confident in yeah yeah definitely um, top four was against Goalies or Arc. Okay. And um, I definitely showed my inexperience with the deck in that set. Okay. Um, I, I punted my game round two. I made way too many misplays to be like happy with how that game went, even though I won. Okay. Um, and it ended up being a close set, and our game three went to time. Oh, and we okay. both started Mew EX because he played two Mew EX. Mm. We both happened to start it, and I was going. Uh, I was going first, so I was able to just kill his Mew. So you were there, able to ride his speeding first. Yeah. Okay. Um, and from that point, it was just he had to hit like a four card combo. It was Energy Choice Band and Guzma, 
and I want to say his second copy of Mew or a rescue stretcher. So was or time Bob called Bob. like right after you set up for game three? No, no. Oh, okay, um, so it wasn't at the it was, Mew it was, play. It was after I attacked with my Mew. Okay. I went to his turn. I took my prizes and time was called. Okay. Um, so he had two turns to try to hit the cards and he wasn't able to. Yeah. Um, and then top two, or finals rather. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, I was supposed to play Taporka. It was going to be a 59 card mirror. Right. But he is on vacation right now and could not play any more cups this quarter. Okay. Um, he already, this was his finish, but he wanted to hit 300. So I was like, all right, I got like three more cups. So we yeah. decided to just, me, um, this is a locals that Taporco grew up at, and it was the first locals I went to before I played Pokemon. Okay. And our buddy Tyler, like, we've been going here for close to 10 years. Okay. So we were, like, all about, oh, we got to win Comet Kings. Comet Kings has to win <laughs> Comet Kings. Yeah. Um, so it was me, Tyler, and Taporco in top eight, and we ended up getting there. So we just split the prizes, and I scooped it to Porco. Nice, nice. Um, Taporco actually messaged me a couple hours later and was like, I'm really bothered that we didn't play. <laughs> so we're gonna we're gonna uh we're gonna best of three with the list to nice. see who actually won comic kings nice nice um so any any tips on playing this mirror match uh does lucario come into it so it's it might be a little different than the normal zoro lichen mirror match um to me i don't because of the mew threat and uh he plays a hit the card change was he was playing mew too and i decided to play an evo soda okay um his list didn't have evo soda okay that's 50 59 cards yeah um going into it i wouldn't i'd bench the riolu and just let it sit until it was swinging for game there's nothing i would i'd rather pitch lucario than evolve into it and make it a a weird trade right yeah that makes a lot um, of sense so you have the riolu sitting there and if the game comes down to two prizes all you need is fighting lucario guzma yeah assuming i, I really has a Zorak. <laughs> Yeah, definitely. I really think in that mirror, you try to limit your bench to, uh... Him and I were both playing Kuku because, again, 59 cards. Right. So it wouldn't really work against him, but I really feel like you go, uh... No more than three on your bench. Mm hmm And you try to fight with Lycan Rock the whole time. Okay. I feel like you don't swing with anything else, and you just... As bad as it sounds, I feel like you just make one Zora and sit on it. And some Zoro is possible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I'm thinking the, like board, the board might look like um, a Rock Ruff, a Lycanroc, a Zorua, and a Zorark, maybe, in an yeah. ideal situation. Or maybe a yeah. Lycanroc and a Riolu. Like, a Lele is going to be on board 99% of the time, unfortunately. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but um, but if that's, we again, do, where I'd, I'd want the second Ace Aurora. And if you do end up putting in that parallel city, you can just parallel your own board get the yeah, lele absolutely. off if you have to fill absolutely. it up with a lele and maybe two leles in a bad situation yeah definitely um, um any matchups that you didn't play that you were either hoping to play or were not hoping to play um no not particularly i'm glad i there was literally one buzzle somehow uh, i okay. was just playing buzzle <laughs> and i don't like that matchup because I just, I don't know. Yeah, they're, I feel like, like, I, they're like the only deck that can be more aggressive than you. Yeah, I I can't wait for rotation because assuming that the rotation is correct, we lose crazy stuff like Max Elixir and Strong Energy and mm -hmm. um, Puzzle. So there's a lot of stuff I can't wait for. I think I honestly think Puzzle is a very toxic deck for the game right now. It's mm, good, don't get me wrong. Yeah, I, I, it is good, it is good. And it's getting even more support next set, so we'll have to see yeah. where that goes. That card breaks crazy. Yeah, I do think it might be. It might need the support to keep up with Ultra Necrozma, but I'm actually doing some testing for that tomorrow, so yeah. I'll see where that goes. Okay, so thank you uh, for coming onto the channel for the deck profile and tournament report. Yeah, I think man. we uh, we put a lot of information about this deck into a very concise amount of time. I think just now. Um, yeah. Any shout outs you want to make before we close out the video? Um, to Porco for. You know, give me the deck. Uh, Russ for telling me I'm bad all the time. Mm -hmm. And uh, Tyler for holding it down for Kings with us. Okay, cool, cool. All right, thanks, Pat. Um, hey, man. Any, you don't, do you write for any sites or anything that we should check you out on? No, I'm not good enough, and I also, I'm too lazy. 
Okay, so <laughs> just look out for Pat at the next regionals. Maybe he'll yeah. be playing Hollow I'm again. <laughs> I'm generally a nice person, so you can say hi. Yeah, Pat's cool to shoot the shit with. Alright, guys, uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time here on Celio's Network.